Hi guys, uh, welcome to Java Coding Interview Questions. This is Sandhi. Today we will write a program to display the pattern to display the pattern of stars. So here are the pattern of stars I need to display. So you see here. So this is the pattern. So what we can uh, here are some of the observations we can do from this pattern. So if you observe the pattern. Here we have total number of row, total number of stars in a row are 5 and total number of rows are 5. Here we have total number of rows as 5 and the number of stars on each row as 5. So and uh, don't forget to remember one important point in any pattern programs. So if we take any pattern programs we need looping we need looping looping concepts why do we need looping concepts because we are doing repetitively things suppose if we are printing repetitively these stars that's why we need here we need here looping concept okay and almost for any pattern program any pattern program 95 percent of the pattern program we use loops we use two for loops okay so in this program so here we need two for loops one for loop is for number of rows one two three four five so total number of rows equals to five and each in each row how many number of stars we are printing five so i am taking a variable called j equal to five okay so now what i need to do is from starting from line 1 I need to print 5 right so first write one for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus so now the i value will be 1 so now 1, way, 1 means this row and in this row what I need to do I need to print 5 stars 5 stars uh, int i equal sorry int j int j equal to 1 int j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus in the first for loop what we are doing is we are taking each row so the i starts with 1 so i'll be explaining only one row uh, remaining rows i'll explain while writing the program so in this row what i need to do i need to print stars five times stars five times so that is the reason j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus i took this loop and in the next line what i need to do is system dot out dot print System dot out dot print. What I need to print star. Why I'm using print here? Print what it does is it won't go to the new line. It attaches one by one. It attaches one by one. It attaches the or it appends the string one by one, not in a new line. Okay. And what I need to do after printing so first what it does int j equal to 1 so j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus it will print this star and again j will become 2 and j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus this will print this star j equal to 3 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus this it will print this star j equal to 4 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus system dot out dot print star it will print this star j equal to 5 j less than or equal to 5 true system dot out dot print it will print this star now now what we need to do for int j equal to 6 because j we are keep on incrementing right so after 5 what it becomes j equal to 6 j j equal to 6 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus will it print anything no so why because j j less than j is 6 6 less than or equal to 5 false it will come out of this for loop 
So after coming out of this for loop, what we need to do? We need to come to the next line and start in the next line. Okay. We need to come out of the next line. System dot out dot println just give an empty empty statement give here empty string so what this will do is it will just add a new line so what happens is after j when j becomes 6 it will come out of this uh, state it will come out of this first row and it comes to the second row and it will start printing in the second row okay so Hope you guys understand the logic. Now we will go to the program and implement this program. So Java pattern demo. Java pattern demo 1. Java pattern demo 1. and go to the main method and in this main method what we need to do is so first write one for loop for int i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus okay system dot not don't write any system dot out dot println so this is for the first uh, number of rows now take another for loop for int j equal to 1 j less than or equal to 5 j plus plus system dot out dot print don't take print and take only print and here what we need to do is we need to add one star add one star and one space And here what I am doing, I am writing one more system dot out dot print and it will print just an empty statement. Okay. So let's run the program and see the output. Are we getting the correct output or not? So if you see here, we are getting five stars and in total number of rows, five rows, we need to get in each row, we need to get five stars. We are getting right. So this logic is very simple. Uh, let's debug this and uh, I'll explain you this logic once again. Okay. So if you come here, so initially I will be 1. Initially I will be 1. If you see here, uh, one second. Initially I will be 1. If you see here, I is 1. Okay. Now it entered this loop. Now what it happens is it will come to this loop and it will take j as 1. So j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5, j plus plus true. So now what it happens is it prints the first star, system dot out dot print star. If you observe the console here, it will print the star here. It has printed one star. Now, now what happens is j becomes 2 j equal to 1, j less than or equal to 5, j plus plus, initially j is 1, now j is 2, if you see here, j value become 2, and it prints second star, if you observe the console, it printed second star, now, j value is 3, and it printed third star, now j, j got incremented and j value is 4, it printed fourth star, now j value got incremented and it printed fifth star, now, if you see j value is 6 after j value is 5 j value is 6 6 less than or equal to 5 and it won't print any star it will come out of this for loop okay it will come out of this for loop finally it came out of this for loop and it printed system dot out dot print ln. so what did what this system dot out dot print will do it will print in a new line now it came to the new line now i value will be 2 Initially i value is 1, now i value will be 2, if you see here i value is 2, now j value will become again 1, j value is 1 and again it repeats the same process as the first row and it prints the all the stars, okay, 
Hope you guys understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe and share my video.